Well, good morning, bee peeps. <laughs> That's dumb. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do that again. Um, I gave you one guess what we're doing today. We, some would say, oh, that's a good idea. Some would say, oh, what are you doing? But yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'm going to give them an oxalic acid treatment. Well, they've got as little brood as they're going to have for the rest of the season. And uh, then later today, I'm going to come back after I open them all up and let them do their thing. We're supposed to get nicer. So later today, I'm going to come back and do full on inspections on them, even though they've only been overnight or two days I don't remember um, and uh, make sure and knock down any swarm cells just in case and maybe we'll find queens um, but for now this part of it is just giving them some treatments and uh, I'll uh, set you up somewhere so you can watch a little bit if you feel like it all right I'll be right back when you're working with OA you should always have the proper protective gear. You should always use it as uh, described on the instructions. This is not a how-to. This is a how I did. So, um, I, one thing I had noticed, the number two hive on the end, they're more active earlier in the morning and I guess it'd be number four hive was active earlier in the morning too. Um, when I came out and closed them up, uh, I came back a couple minutes later and led a, a whole lot of, uh, well not a whole lot, maybe 20 or 30 pollen, pass, pollen basket bees back in. So that's kind of cool. A couple of them, three of them. Yeah, two or three of them seem like they like to get up earlier in the morning and um, well, I, now that's an observation. So it seems like the three that don't have the slatted racks are a little busier earlier in the morning, and the three with the slatted racks were a little less busy this morning. I don't know if that's anything, but that could just be the nook size too. Um, volume of bees, or volume of, uh, remaining work bees when they got split uh, all right well i'm gonna cut probably most all of that out but i'll be right back okay we're up to temp so we're gonna get started with it
Okay, so what I discovered, there were two of them that I didn't have the holes drilled in the back of. And I used a little bit too big of a drill bit, so I'm going to have to figure out a uh, brace or something to hold the vaporizer better. But you guys have all seen this before, and I'll just uh, cut this part short. Well, there you have it. The girls' first OA shower at DC's Bees. Um... Oh, I forgot one last thing or a few last things if we're gonna work with oxalic acid Even if it's vaporized and stuff. It's a good idea to have a bucket of uh, baking soda water That way you don't want to get OA in places. You don't want to get OA um, Cleans out cuts really good though uh, Let's see everybody's been treated Everybody's opened back up I can hear them all humming in there, cleaning the air out, cleaning the stuff up, so that's good. Get some of that hygienic behavior, keep that hive clean. Um, so, uh, looks like we got girls already coming back in and out. Um, Alrighty, I'll let you go. Bye.